Hello, it's a pretty lovely, lovely good evening once again from here in Delhi and hope as always that each one of you are absolutely, absolutely fine, happy and of course in fine spirits. Even though your examinations are approaching fast, at the same time inside of my heart I know that some of you might be feeling quite anxious and quite lots of what we call anxieties are over there and of late I have been bombarded with several messages sir you have been running lots of videos for final level students of course when you are going to reach at final level we would continue this particular legacy of what we call giving lots of revisionary videos but at the same time right right now some of the students were complaining sir you haven't come out with any what we call videos especially with respect to what we call financial accounting please let us know which are the important topic or something like that to be very honest with you there is nothing important in the examinations you have to do each and everything deeply insightfully and of course as far as possible what we every gamut of the course every strata of the what we call course need to be completed in order to succeed at the professional level examinations but anyway on your demand actually we have tried our level best effort to give you some inputs regarding the what we call expected i should not call it expected but some important questions but remember one thing by saying so i'm not telling that other topics are not important or something like that it is just to actually give you a focal area if, uh, so that your preparation actually takes a little bit of what we call higher gear so now coming over straight to the point we start with branch account it's a pretty long chapter so first of all, you need to know, and lots of topics are over there. But from the examination point of view, always stock and data system is very important of paramount importance. And especially when you will do the stock and data system, pay attention towards abnormal losses and normal losses situations, correct? So lots of questions of late have been asked from stock and data system. So I'm sure that you will get what we call a question from a stock and data system wherein abnormal losses, treatment of abnormal losses and normal losses would be asked of you. And we did near about, we have done near about 100 questions. Those among you who have subscribed to our courses must have noticed that we have done near about 100 questions in branch accounts. Anyway, we have given as far as widest possible coverage is concerned. But anyway, now we come straight to departmental accounts. As far as departmental accounts, there are lots of topic, correct? In fact, in our courses, we have five or six sections but here at your level you need to pay a little bit of extra attention towards questions wherein actually there are there is case of inter interdepartmental transfer of goods at some margin wherein concept of unrealized profit will come into play and de besides that there is another section with respect to uniform gross, gross profit margin questions. So these two segments should be your focal area while you are preparing for the examination under higher purchase you can simply focus on partial repossession and of course sometime questions on what we call calculation of interest is also asked as far as royalty accounts is concerned there is hardly anything to pick by you can pick up any questions and pick one such question where there is case of short working so a question of short question based upon short working may be asked as far as insurance claim is concerned again it's a pretty long topic and there are two types of policies at your level one is loss of a stock policy and another one is profit policy but you need to stress upon loss of a stock policy and especially we have kept a separate section under loss of a stock policy with respect to questions on abnormal line of goods that is abnormal losses so you pay extra attention towards this particular question then as far as preparation of statement financial statements of not brought not for profit organization is concerned you can expect a short question this time on subscription correct and at the same time you may if there is any long question it could be what we call preparation or receipt and payment account and balance sheet and you will be given what we call income and expenditure account so you focus on that and as far as preparation of financial statements from incomplete records is concerned that is also known as single entry accounting system here i have just written given now what we mean by given that mean i have given you here some question this is accounting for incomplete records so you try to do these two questions which i have given correct uh, and so the this will see to this will see to it that you have covered what we call entire chapter when you are going to do this particular question now as far as preparation of financial statement preparation of financial statements of profit making organization preparation of financial statement of profit making organization is nothing but your final account system you need to require to unnecessarily do long and lengthy questions over there you are not going to be asked such questions short questions 
on what we call bad debts and provision for bad debts you can expect out of this particular topic. As far as accounting for consignment is concerned, pick up any question where invoicing is there. So generally, you will be asked to compute the abnormal losses and also what we call closing stock. So these are the things. And as far as joint venture is concerned, simple chapter, but you stress upon what we call joint banking method. Correct? Now accounting for depreciation is concerned. It's a pretty simple chapter. I need not require to talk a lot about it. Correct? So you can simply do and manage this particular chapter. As far as bills of exchange is concerned, simply focus upon accommodation of the bills. This is the area where we expect that question can be asked. Regarding rectification of error and self balancing error, I have given you some attached some questions over here. Correct rectification of error question, you simply do this question. And in my opinion, question of such pattern and feature may be asked in the examination in self balancing ledger. You do this question, I have given it in a solved manner. So you need not require to worry about self balancing ledger and rectification of error. Now coming over to what we call then partnership. Now, because partnership is pretty vast and consumes lots of time to do. So, I would advise you, if you have done all the other things, correct, at depth, then you simply focus upon dissolution of partnership and dissolution of partnership means simple dissolution, simple dissolution and insolvency of partnership. And if possible, firm's insolvency, then it will put you on a safer side. So, if you can manage to do what we call dissolution of partnership along with insolvency and firm's insolvency, you can expect that you can tackle the question in the examination. So, I'm not asking you to pay unnecessarily extra attention to admission, retirement, retirement death, etc. You simply focus upon what we call insolvency questions. Correct? Now, the chapters with which I have put in what we call greener shade, actually, these are theoretical chapters. Now, if you remember it, Generally, the questions, your first question will be of objective type question and most of the question of objective type question will be based upon these chapters. So, it is of paramount importance that you go through the theories and those among you who have subscribed to our courses, they need to understand that actually, that they have to do both tutorials and notes quite well to get a supreme amount of what we call proficiency in this chapter. Lots of objective type questions are asked of it. Correct? So, these are vital chapters 17, 18 and 19 at length. And as far as accounting standard is concerned, honestly speaking, I have never seen a question on accounting standard, although it is a part of your course. Only only thing I have seen is that AS1 deals with disclosure of accounting policy. That way they are simply asking you, matching the what we call uh, name of the standard with the title. That's all. So anyway, still you do a surficial study, although we have covered all these standards at great length and lots of case studies we have provided to you. But still you have a good look over 9 and 7 and beside that, as you at least you should be aware of that AS2 deals with valuation of inventories, likewise AS10 deals with property and equipment. That means numbering a title, at least you should be well aware of. So that's all in such quick time, all I can say is that these should be your focal areas. And of course, some of you might actually demand these sheets. If you want to actually demand this sheet, I will tell you actually how can you get it. You simply download our app. Our app actually download the Sanjay Welkins Learning Mobile app that is Sanjay Welkins. You download it and you can download the sheets from there, of course, if in case if you really intend to. So on such wishes will take off, take leave of you now. And with all the blessing in the words and wishing you that each one of you come out with supreme amount of what we call uh, uh, performance in the examination. So on such note, we finish up this particular session. So that's all for the day.